What's up everyone? Today's wine text, as I'm going to butcher it because I'm not necessarily good at pronouncing German names, is the 2016 Weingut Tesch Lovenheimer St. Remy Giesberg Riesling Trocken 2016. Uh, so right off the bat, I'm going to say, most people are going to say, I don't drink Riesling, Riesling sweet. Well, the number one thing I want to tell you about this right off the bat is it's a dry Riesling. This is a Trocken style. So when you see Trocken on the bottle by itself, it means it's going to be on a drier style. The other way you can tell whether the wine is going to either be sweet or dry is by the alcohol level. When wine is made, the yeast eats the sugar and then the sugar becomes alcohol. And the more yeast or the more the sugar that the yeast eats, the higher the alcohol will be. So this is a 12.5% Riesling, which on the spectrum of being sweet and dry is much more on the drier side. Um, don't be afraid to buy this because you don't drink reasons because they're sweet because this is as dry as a Pinot Grigio, a Sauvignon Blanc, or any of the other white wines that you might actually enjoy. So this is a project from a family. Um, Martin Tesch is the current proprietor slash manager of the winery and the vineyards. Uh, he's the 11th generation within the Nye. So there's a couple different regions in Germany where they make high-end level Rieslings. Uh, you may have heard of the Mosul, you have heard of the Rheingau. Uh, the Nye is just another similar region. When I taste Nye wines, they tend to be a little bit riper and a little bit more on the fruit profile. Uh, so you get a lot of that kind of peach, stone fruit stuff going on, a lot of that limestone kind of chalky minerality, uh, but being laser, laser, laser focused with the high level acidity. Uh, there's only a couple grapes in the world when it comes to still white wine that has an acidity level as high as this. Uh, one is Riesling, the other one is Chenin Blanc. Um, obviously, Sauvignon Blanc has acidity as well, but this is higher than all of those. As you drink this, your mouth keeps watering and it becomes more uh, kind of wanting to get back to the wine and, and tasting it as you go along. Uh, foods that go with this, definitely things that have a decent amount of salt. I love Riesling with cured meat and pork dishes, uh, but this is like the number one classic uh, aperitif style uh, entry level wine into a meal. Cleanse the palate uh, and keep it super fresh. Uh, so yeah, it's a really cool wine. 2016 is a great vintage and I think you guys will really like uh, the style of a dry Riesling, especially if you haven't tried it before.